Reach in and grab it. are hereof given. Come to us, Dolores Manton. Reveal to us what you know. When will you stop playing with these silly people? She seems to be speaking to someone here at table. You could have been a brilliant doctor or an artist. But instead, you chose to lose yourself in the lives of others, the dead as well as the living. Will you reveal to us your child's name? I called him Daniel, but you know him by another name. Will Daniel reveal himself to the circle? Perhaps Mrs. Manton will reveal to you. Caramba, my Cristo, turn on the light! was about to reveal the killer of Dolores Manton. The diet heiress? Didn't that happen in the 70s? I mean, everybody knows her son did it. Yes, but nobody knows what happened to the son. He disappeared shortly before the trial. Yeah, Prudeau. Detective, it's an honor to meet you. Uh-huh. She looks like the real deal, Frank. She predicted her own murder. Predicted? 
Yeah. We had a tip earlier today that there was going to be a murder here at 8 o'clock. I assumed it was just a ploy for publicity, and I was wrong. It's not your fault, Frank. She shouldn't expect you to take her seriously. That's a good point, Craig. Okay. She, of all people, would have known that I would not have taken it seriously. Someone else sent that message. But who? Maybe someone who knew she was going to reveal the killer of Dolores Manton. But how could anyone have known that but Madame Bobby herself? Maybe the killer of Mrs. Manton? If he was being blackmailed to keep his identity a secret. Yeah. Figured it was cheaper to knock her off. But why would the killer alert me beforehand? At each seance, each of you brings a personal item, a talisman. I count three objects. Someone's talisman is missing. Mine, detective. Where is it? I think... <gasps> they say children shouldn't play with dead things. Neither should adults. Let that be a lesson to all of you. Are you going to take us downtown? No, I think I can clear this up right here. We've got a dead body, a room full of suspects. Don't you think this once we could call the paddy wagon and haul this bunch of kooks down for questioning? My Irish godfather has always said, if you're lucky enough to get invited to a party, make sure you don't pin the tail on the wrong donkey. Everyone take the place you had during the seance with your objects in front of you. Eight times eight. Eight words are spoken. Eight knocks upon wood are hereof given. Come to us, Dolores Manta. Reveal to us what you know. Try again. Eight times eight. It's not eight times eight, Astra. It's eight bell strike. Madam Bobby, it's Detective Frank. The five minute detective. Five minutes too late. Where were you? Traffic was mer. I mean, we were stuck behind some knucklehead at 16th Street. Oh, do you know where I was stuck? In the middle of my back in that chair. Too bad all of us can't just honk a horn to solve our little problems. Who killed you? The last thing I remember is the table being pushed up. And then somebody yelling for the lights. You say the table was pushed up? Like this? You know, a wise Eskimo once told me person who looked into a glass ball for money may find large diamond turned out to be a very small stone. Hello? Could you, could you speak up and make some sense, please? I'm dead. It's very simple. You were blackmailing members of your circle. Don't try to change the subject. You were trying to find my murderer, remember? And I'm telling you the motive. Isn't that right, Mr. Hanley? She told me she would go to the authorities unless I, I gave her my mother's antique serving plate. You were letting it go black in the hall closet, please. I didn't kill Madame Bobby, I swear, and I... We'll get to that. What gave the killer away was his talisman. 
If you say the killer's talisman was a knife, it was me! I had a dream that I was stabbing Madame Bobby and I, I couldn't stop myself. I didn't know what I was going to do, so I called you. When I pushed the table up just now, each of you reached for your objects. Only natural sense. They each have personal meaning. Except for you, Mr. Prudhoe. I, I was taken aback. It's funny how that glass figurine of yours hasn't broken after two trips to the hardwood floor. Just luck, I suppose. Plus the fact that it's not made out of glass. I couldn't find my glass one, so... So you brought a plastic one the others would assume was your real talisman. But it wouldn't break when it fell off the table. You put on gloves under the table so when you grab Mr. Niebauer's knife, it wouldn't leave any fingerprints. Then you pushed up the table, upsetting the candles, and stabbed Madame Bobby on your way to the lights. I thought that was your voice, but it was so chaotic, what with all the shouting and my own murder happening and all. Every week, she wanted some new trinket to add to her collection. Or she was going to tell everyone that I killed my wife. Did you? She's right here. Do you want me to have her come over and testify? Jean-Vier! I think someone would like to hear from Mrs. Manton right about now. Yes. How did that curling iron get into your bathtub? Daniel was trying to fish his little picture out with it. Didn't I tell you not to play with Bonnie's hair appliances? So, so then I didn't commit murder. These sob sisters are getting on my nerves. You know, you really need to get used to your new situation here because it's not going to improve until your attitude improves. Bye, sweetheart! When you've got a dead monkey on your back that you just can't shake, who are you going to call? Ha, 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 ha.